Okay, hello you guys. Hi everyone. Thank you guys for watching my channel. She's got the gift. Okay, I'm back with a love reading for my water sign, Scorpio. Scorpio, sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign. Hi Scorpio, I'm back to do your love reading. Before we jump into your reading, you guys, please don't forget to like, share, watch me, and if you like how I read, subscribe for me, okay? I appreciate you. I'm truly grateful for you. Take what resonates and leave the rest, Scorpio, okay? So if everything doesn't fit, it's okay. Take what's for you and leave the rest. Don't dwell on it. Now let's jump right into this love reading because I do have an intuitive message for you as well. So with no further ado, let's jump into this reading. Spirit, white light, holy angels, I call upon you to guide me. Thank you for utilizing me as a vessel. I ask that you give us some clear, resonating, healing, useful messages for the Scorpio and love. What's coming towards the Scorpio and love, Spirit? We truly grateful. Let's get you a wisdom. What's coming towards the Scorpio and love, Spirit? What's coming towards the Scorpio and love, Spirit? Scorpio and love. Scorpio, your intuitive message I got was when curiosity kills the cat. So, I don't know what that means. A person is just, like, too curious. Or I feel like a person is coming on to you, like, super strong, but they think it's a turn-on, and it's really a turn-off for you. Ooh, I don't know what that's about. Thank you. We truly grateful, Spirit. You got pride. I love myself, and I see myself in everyone. Pride. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. Um, Scorpio, with that, you can't see yourself in everyone. Everyone is not like you. You could be a good person and it could be a bad person around you. And you're like, damn, why the fuck is this person operating like that? Or why is this person, you know, moving like that? Everyone is not you. So it's okay to see a person for themselves. I feel like spirit is telling you that it's time for you to see people for who they really are and stop trying to portray them to be a good person just because you're a good, loving, genuine person, okay? Thank you for that, spirit. We truly grateful. Let's get you some romance, Oracle. What's going on with the Scorpio spirit in love? Scorpio in love. Scorpio, sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign. What's going on with the Scorpio in love? We truly grateful. When curiosity kills the cat, I'm still hearing that. They told me take it. Okay. Give me one more. One more for Scorpio spirit. Remember, this is what's coming towards you in love. Or if you already in a relationship, then this is like, you know, what's getting ready to come. Okay. You got four. I asked for three. Spirit gave you four, okay? Uh, Scorpio. Ooh, we Scorpio. The first one that came out, you got engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So that's what's coming towards you in love. Somebody is getting ready to not only pursue you, but pop the question as well. Someone feels like someone sees you in your light. Someone sees you in your high vibration and they coming towards you. But not only is they coming towards you, they coming with a proposal, baby, okay? Second one, you got romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Someone sees your full potential. Someone sees that you got it. They know you got it. They want it. Um, I see. I see another child in the making too. Uh oh. Okay. This one says forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more in your present moment. Spirit is telling you to fully let go of somebody. I feel like you let go of someone, but not completely. It's time for you to wrap up something in order to get this engagement and these romantic feelings that someone has for you, okay? Last one that came out is you deserve love. You are lovable. I told you somebody sees your potential. Somebody see it, baby, and somebody want it. They see what you're deserving of. They see your worth. Okay? Excuse me, you guys. 
card down. Let me grab it. King of Pentacles flipped out, but we ain't, we ain't pulling nothing from Tarot yet, okay? So. What's this engagement? Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. What's this about, Spirit? Give us a little bit more information on this for the Scorpio. Who's coming towards Scorpio with this love note? With this thinking. Somebody see you, somebody want you. What's this engagement? Give me a little bit more insight for Scorpio. Engage. guys my cards was at reverse okay so engagement you got the five of pentacles you got the six of cups you got the three of swords and you got death somebody that you ended it with is coming back around scorpio and they feel like the only way to get you is to step it up a little bit because you're not taking a bullshit and um they're going to propose to you. Here's the thing, though. They put you out in the cold. They chose someone over you. It's someone from your past with the Six of Cups here that you edited it with. It's a wrap for this person. Um, it could be another Cancer Pisces Scorpio. It could be a Taurus here. And it could be a Libra Gemini Aquarius. What's this you deserve love? Clarify this you deserve love for the Scorpio spirit. Clarify, you deserve love for the Scorpio. Give me a little bit more. Mm. Check this out, Scorpio. So clarifying this, you deserve love. You got the moon card here. You got the six of pentacles and the temperance. It could be a Sagittarius that's coming towards you to express these feelings, these, these bundled up emotions that they have for you with the moon card here. It could be a Taurus or a Virgo that's coming towards you that's saying they want to equal, uh, equal give and take. Have patience with this person because this person been through shit. Okay? Not only that, um, Scorpio, I feel like you just need to have patience when it comes to love, period, because you gave out too much love into the wrong people. And Spirit is telling you to sit back, relax, okay, drink some coffee, smoke a cigarette, smoke a blunt, eat a brownie, whatever you like to do, just have patience, um, be thankful for the shit that you have. Okay, be thankful for all the things that you do have and stop worrying about this because love is coming towards you. And I feel like it's coming when you least expect it. This person that feels like you deserve it has all these emotions coming, all these emotions for you that they never expressed to you. And I feel like now they're coming towards you with the six of pentacles. They want to equal give and take with you. Okay, they want to sit and they want to learn you. They want to balance with you. They want to go out with you. They want to show you off. They want to be exclusive. Have patience with this person. It could be a Cancer. It could be a Taurus. It could be a Sagittarius, okay? What's this romantic feelings? Clarify this romantic feelings for the Scorpio. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Mm, the, the magician at the bottom. Continue to manifest. Continue to sit back and have patience because it's coming for you. And somebody coming with overflowing emotions. Somebody that had all these emotions that they never showed you at once upon a time. And now they're coming to show you. Clarify these romantic feelings for the Scorpio. Clarify romantic feelings for the Scorpio spirit. find this romantic feelings i feel like it's this person that's coming here toward coming towards you to 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 ascend with you to a higher level of commitment like um propose to you uh they've been up they can't sleep they this is like um i feel like something has been haunting them with the judgment card here because remember this person left you this person threw you the, you didn't you didn't mean nothing to this person at one point in time this person put you in a third party situation not only did they do that but they chose the other person over you scorpio okay now they feeling like oh my god it's the scorpio this whole time 
the Scorpio is so loving and so caring and it's like they see you for who you really are and they can't help but to accept all of these balled up feelings you know that they have for you that they never showed to you now it's like with the six of wands here and the nine of swords I have to get this off my chest by any means necessary I have to go and approach the Scorpio marry this squirt a uh, propose to this Scorpio and get everything right before it's too late I feel like the Scorpio is walking away you could be dealing with here a Libra you could be dealing with the uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or you could be dealing with a uh, Gemini, okay? Scorpio, bottom of the deck is the Ace of Pentacles. They want it all with you. They see that who, they see you for who you really are. But here, but here's the here's the thing though, right here, Scorpio. This is what you want right here, though. Forgiving and forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. So spirit is telling you, yeah, this bullshit person coming back around for you. But um, it's somebody from your past that sees it all with you. But I feel like something went wrong and now they're coming back to you. Don't be a rebound, okay? Spirit is telling you, forgive this person, but let them down easy, okay? I love you. I will always love you. But what me and you have, this chapter has completely closed, okay? So let's clarify this forgiving and learning for the Scorpio. Clarify the forgiving and learning for the Scorpio, Spirit. Oh, oh, look at, oh. Now, 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 let me tell you, Scorpio, and this this where it get juicy at. You didn't fucking forgave everybody that you can forgive. You didn't release everybody that you can release. And since you did that, okay, you has ascended. Now you are the empress. You could be dealing with a, a Libra. A Libra could be coming towards you saying, hey, I let him give me a baby. Hey, I see you being a good ass mom, a good person that takes care of home. Bills is on time. Let me help you out. Let me lighten that load for you with this Ace of Pentacles here. Okay. Also, Knight of Cups. Um, baby, I've been having all of these feelings for you. And I want you to see how I really feel. Okay. But the Knight of Cups here in the moon, it could be a water sign that's coming towards you. That's getting ready to express everything that they did not express at once upon a time. Okay. Oh, this was a good ass read. This was a good read for you. Let's get you a wisdom and I'm going to let you go. Scorpio out here. You got Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You got strong Taurus out here. You got Libra out here. You got Gemini out here. You got uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. What's coming towards you and love somebody is two different people here. You didn't let go of somebody and fully. You, once you, okay, dropped your guards. I'm going to always love this person, but me and this person can no longer be. This is when the universe gives you every fucking thing that you want, okay? from letting For letting go of this nasty-ass motherfucking person that put you in a third-party situation and then, then chose wrong, fumbled the ball, didn't choose you. You was a gift sent to him. It was like this person prayed for you to show up in their life. Boom, you ran into them. They did you dirty. They had kids on you. They put you in third-party situations, didn't care about your feelings. It was fuck you. You said, okay, I'm going to go into hermit mode, and I'm going to heal. And during all of that time when you was healing and all of this and good praying and listening to your ancestors and listening to your intuition, Empress, Ace of Pentacles, and the Knight of Cups, somebody coming for you, baby, that's stable. Somebody coming to lighten your load. It's going to be a help, okay? It's not going to be no struggle with this person. Any last minute messages for the Scorpio? Any last minute messages for the Scorpio? <clears throat> Thank you, Spirit. We truly grateful. Thank you. It says grow something about a cat here. Um Scorpio, I think you need to get out in 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 the real world. You've been um you've been so bundled up and you've been so caught up at being at home because at home is where your peace of mind is at. Spirit is telling you to go outside, okay? This is where you're gonna meet this new love at. I feel like you're gonna be sitting somewhere at a park. Um you could be visiting somebody at a grave site. Something about a cat, someone just got a cat as well, or you need to get a cat. Uh, put flowers in your house, get a plant and start nurturing the plant, okay? Because you're you're bringing in this, this new love. At the bottom of the deck is beauty. Mm -hmm. Beauty. You didn't did all the work. You didn't did all the work, Scorpio. You're like a flower. You watered yourself. You healed yourself. You nurtured yourself. And now you're blooming and now you're ready to get this new love that spirit has for you, okay? 
with that being said, I'm going to leave it there. Scorpio, that's what I have for you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for me, please. And thank you. And if you would like a personal reading, description box below, okay? Um, I thank you guys. I appreciate you. Thank you for your time. Um, also, I got your June reading coming out right after this. So within 10, 15 minutes of me posting this video, I will drop your June reading, okay, Scorpio? Until next time, Scorpio, I love you guys. Don't forget to stay blessed and prayed up. Bye, Scorpio.